these graphs are representing my streaming ability in Osu, my, my clicking, right? And we're looking at the stability of the streaming where this is unstable and this perfect alternation is very stable. So this top graph is the uh, frequency distribution. My average is around 70 milliseconds with sort of normal curve, normal distribution around it. And this is the same data but mapped horizontally. So the average is around 70 milliseconds and there's some variance. But I won't go into it, but we can calculate how impressive this is, right? So this PP value here, this 618 at the moment. And I've already explained this in another video, so I'll just say really quick, it considers how stable you are, how fast you're doing it, how many mistakes you make, and it's it's pretty accurate, right? The more this number is, the better your performance was. And now's a good time to show. So this here is the one I've just done. You see I was streaming here very, a bit faster, but more unstable. And then here I slow down a bit, but get more stability. But that, that's how the data is collected through that little program that was here. And the most interesting topic of this video is the SEO device, right? So this has dynamic keystrokes. This uh, recent controversy, someone was banned because they were using it. I'm gonna see if it helps. So I'm gonna set some scores normally, and I'm gonna set some scores with this and see if I can try and maximize this PP value here. We're just going to do 20 second tests from here because it's, it simplifies it. We got 600 PP and I don't think I'm going to beat that. So I'll do one more where I just double tap usually and then I'll do one where I double tap with DKS and hopefully we'll get a million PP. The double tap, no DKS. There we are, so we got the bimodal distribution because one of the key presses is right after the other and then one of them is a little while after that. And then here you see that data, horrible. So this UR is super bad, 112, and that's why the PP is so low, even though the BPM is very high. Finally, we're gonna turn on dynamic keystrokes. Dynamic keystrokes is now enabled. As I push down, one key will press, and as I elevate, another key will press. So in theory, I want equal time up, equal time down, but I'm just gonna do this, and that should sort of work itself out. Uh, here we go, I guess. That's crazy. I can already tell it's gonna be like nuts. Cause it's so stable. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I've just seen the number, let me show you the graph. Holy, okay. 1,500 PP, that is three times what I was able to get before and that was my first attempt doing it. So yes, it helps. Look how stable this is. That is nuts compared to what it was before. So the answer is yes, it does help. It is disallowed in my opinion. Thank you for watching and goodbye.